Trivia is a great application that lets you create web apps um, without needing to code anything. Um, and it's a tool that is great for photographers or for 360 video creators. It basically, you just take your 360 photos, you put them inside the, um, the app, inside Pano 2 VR, and you can start customizing the design, you can start creating some effects, some animations, and in a really, really easy way, you're going to be able to deliver powerful virtual tools that are ready for the market, that are ready to satisfy your customers' needs, um, that are able to showcase any facility in the world. 360 Photo is a full spherical panoramic photo that allows anybody to see any place, like if uh, she or he would be in that exact position. Um, hotspots can be several things. They can be um, buttons that will take you either to another 360 photo. Let's say if you're inside a house, you want to go from the main entrance, you want to go from the living room, for example, to the kitchen. In Panache VR, you do this through hotspots. So you press a button and it teleports you there. This is a kind of hotspot, but um, they also can be any other kind of media. So you also have um, a photo hotspot. So like if you want to see something in bigger detail, you can click a button and see this. Um, they can also be uh, videos and they can also be any any kind of media that, that you want to, that you can dream of. And the really nice thing is that you can integrate them all in your virtual tour, in your web application, without needing to code. And through a Pano to VR scheme, we will cover this uh, topic of, of schemes uh, more in detail in other videos. But it's something that is really useful, is really powerful. You can control schemes with logic blocks in Pano to VR, which is basically like coding without having to code is like some way of visual coding so you can you can have um, some logical conditions that make it possible that there is a pop-up um, showing up after you click on some button and yeah things things like that many people designed or create websites um, just thinking about laptops just thinking about desktop devices. But according to our customers, to the customers that we have had in the last nine years, most of the users actually browse virtual tours from mobile devices. Um, and this is because of this reason that it's very important to think about mobile design and responsive design. And this is totally possible with Pano 2 VR. In the skin editor, you can control how all the elements will arrange depending on if you are browsing the tool from a desktop computer or from a mobile device. Having analytics is very important for your tours because you want to know not only uh, from which countries your users are browsing your tours, but you also want to know um, how much time they stayed browsing your tour, and um, what is the 360 photo that they visited the most, for example. And this is possible uh, using Pano 2 VR, like adding some code snippet to your tour that will give you like the basic analytics, like the demographics. But if also you want some more advanced analytics, let's say if you have a question inside your tour in Pano 2 VR and you have three possible answers and you want to know how many people clicked on answer A or B or C, then you would need to add a bit of custom code to Pano 2 VR. But this, the good news is that this is absolutely possible. Um, there are some tutorials out there that can teach you how to do that or if you prefer, um, you can hire a company like 
our company and we can help you um, achieving that. Well, first of all, the output is a folder. This folder contains images. This folder contains uh, code. This folder contains everything that the tour needs to be uploaded and to be browsed from anywhere in the world. Since the output of Pano 2 VR is a folder that contains all the files that you need for your virtual tour, um, to make this virtual tour be available for anybody in internet, you will just need to find a hosting provider, a hosting company. For example, Amazon Web Services. Our recommendation is to hire some professionals um, that have experience in this area. Um, yeah, like, for example, we could help you with that or to look for somebody that has some experience in, in this, in this uh, procedure. In general, what I really love about Pano 2 VR is that it's an app that makes you a developer without knowing how to code. You can create amazing virtual tours without writing a single line of code. Here you can create many amazing things. You can create really great projects. Um, but there is some specific cases in which you will need a custom development, a custom code. For example, let's say if you want to connect your Pano 2 VR project with a database uh, or, the, or with an external service. Let's say you want to have your virtual tour of a school and you want to get, gather data from the, from the weather channel. So you want to showcase in your virtual tour the weather forecast. For this, you will definitely need some custom code the really good news is that um, it's it's possible. It's, it's not like Pano 2 VR is, is closed and then you cannot add external code. Um, Pano 2 VR creators, they made it great. They made it um, not so hard to add your advanced custom code to the project. So if you really want to connect to an API, to a database, you can do it. But in this case, you will need to code, you will need to find a developer. Of course, uh, at our company, at Perspectiva 360 Degrees, we can help you with that. And this is what we have been doing for a couple of years. So feel free to contact us if you have uh, any kind of idea, any kind of question as well. We can help you with that. And also, um, please stay tuned in our LinkedIn um, page as well, in our YouTube page, because we are going to be posting content like this more often. Stay tuned.